start with Chris. Add a dash of sport, squeeze in some music, then shake, don't stir. And you've got the ultimate blend. L-T-I-D. The station with the best, 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 best music. Best music. I love the music. I love the music. Best music. Bonjour. Hola. Guten Tag. Hello. How are we all? Welcome along. Excited? Surely if you are a Eurovision fan, you've got to be excited. Uh, I'm trying to get excited about Eurovision to forget about the football. <laughs> hey, can you blame me? But today, Thursday the 9th of May, if you're watching this live, it is the date of the first semi-final. Hey, yes. See, I'm old enough to remember before there were semi-finals. <laughs> yeah, I'm that old. I'm that old. But the first one is uh, today and uh, tonight, 8 o'clock BST. And you're going to be able to watch Norway, Malta, Serbia, Latvia, Portugal, Ireland, Croatia, Switzerland, Israel, Moldova, Sweden, Azerbaijan, Czech Republic, Netherlands, and Finland. Thank God for semi-finals. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, but we are at the moment on to semi-final number two. And we are going to be looking at Cyprus and that gentleman just there. Uh, basically called Andrew Lambro. Lambro. Lambro, I think. Um, and he's representing Cyprus. Now, what do we know about Cyprus? What are Cyprus most famous for in the Eurovision Song Contest? Yes, giving Greece 12 points. Or, if you don't think it's that, then it could be receiving 12 points from Greece. <laughs> I I had a look at that because I thought, oh, England and Ireland, we've got to be careful, could be on dodgy ground, but we are not as bad as Greece and Cyprus. Uh, Cyprus has participated in the Origins of Contest 38 times. Uh, its first entrance was in 1981, and they finished sixth then, uh, fair play to them. Uh, they made 31 finals, and their highest placement was second in 2018, with the song that, with all of these, I, I've forgotten. <laughs> but apparently it was Eleni Fiora, and I apologise to her if I've made a mess of her uh, uh, her name, uh, but she was Albanian-born Greek, uh, who knew, for Cyprus, and the song was called Frego. Got 436 points, fair play to her, and came second in 2018. Um, but let's, we've got to sort of address the elephant in the room. Uh, I'm going to read this here. The annual exchange of the maximum 12 points with Greece in the semi-final and final has become an amusingly predictable occurrence, which is now often met with derision from the audience. It should be. It should be. You know, I mean, I think the EBU should look at this, and I think if they look at it and say, well, OK, it happens once every four or five years, fair enough. But when it's happening all the time... And, you know, you're looking at uh, maybe a Greek song that has got 10 points from 15 jurors and then suddenly 12 from Cyprus. It's not exactly cheating, but it's it's, it's pretty close, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, the audience should boo it, quite rightly. In the 31 instances between 18, sorry, 18, 1981 and 2022 of Cyprus being able to vote for Greece in a final... They voted Greece as having the best song on 26 of them. So 26 out of 31, 12 points. Um, for some reason, they didn't do 81, 85, 90, 91, and 2015. Uh, since the advent of televoting in 1998, the two countries have consistently given each other the maximum 12 points uh, until the 2015 contest when neither of them gave each other 12 points, but they both gave the 12 to Italy. But the Cypriot televote uh, then went on giving 12 points to Ukraine, for obvious reasons. Um, Cyprus and Turkey, probably unsurprisingly, never exchanged votes until 2003, 
um, but basically, I think that's down to the fact that half the island is, is well, it's all disputed between Turkey and Greece, obviously. Um, so, yeah, um, whatever you think of this song, whatever points I give it at the end, we know it's going to get 12 points from uh, from Greece. And funnily enough, we're going to be doing Greece in uh, two songs' time, so it will probably get the 12 points from Cyprus. But what about Andrew? As you can see there, young chap, Andrew Lambrew, uh, uh, last year along with fellow Aussie participants Voyager, or Voyager, uh, Lambrew completed, uh, competed in Australian... Uh, oh, sorry, I'll try that again with my teeth in, shall I? Last year, along with fellow Aussie participants Voyager, Lambrew completed in Australia Decides with his song Electrify. This year he'll be representing Cyprus, his parents' homeland, at the Eurovision Song Contest. With a strong social media presence, and that's the way it seems to be going, and why not? You know, look at uh, Sam Ryder last year, uh, having a strong social media presence, I think it opens the, I mean, let's be honest with you, you go back 10 years, the sort of people that would use TikTok would not be watching your revision. So it has opened it up to a whole new um, generation, if you like, a whole new audience, uh, which is good. Um, and I also think, why not? I mean, you know, in the past, you know, we've, we've put international stars, we put The Shadows, Cliff Richard, you know, big name stars. Um, so why shouldn't people that have got huge followings on um, social media take part? I'm all for it. I'm all for it if it uh, keeps interest in the competition strong. Uh, Andrew's videos have racked up an impressive number of views and followers and put him in the sights of music industry le uh, legends. At 17, he was signed by Maury Hamilton at Sony Music Publishing, uh, setting him on a path to making music in Australia and Los Angeles. Now he's signed by City Pop Records and Panic Records and has had three hit singles under his belt. Um, his first competition win might have been with the rendition of Doe Deer from The Sound of Music at the age of five. <laughs> but his Eurovision entry, Break a Broken Heart, hits a rather slightly sultrier note. Doe Deer, oh bless him. <laughs> he, uh, the song is called Break a Broken Heart It's Andrew Lambu. It's Cyprus Let's have a listen and see what you think Well, wasn't expecting that If I'm honest with you um, <laughs> It woke me up at the start With that intro Woo! And I thought, hello Peter Andre's making a comeback Mysterious girl, I want to get next to you. Look, what do I say? <coughs> I've been overall, overly impressed this year with the standard of the entrance. There's some, been some very good ones. Normally you look at it, and as I'm old enough to remember, you look at it, you probably think, well, oh, those four songs, they're, they're probably going to be the top four. But there's some really, really good songs this year. And... Unfortunately, this is one of them. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. First time I've heard it, and it's got me straight away. And I think you'll find with some other songs that I have actually liked it, but had to like them at the second listen. I'm tempted to give it, although I'm only going up to 10, I'm tempted to give it 12. Would I listen to that song if I didn't know it was Eurovision on the radio? And I would, I and I would say yes, I would. Good video as well, but obviously it's a different video on the night. Um, I, I, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to have, well, I can't give it more, but I'm going to have to give it a 10. It's a third 10 in a row on this semi-final. Estonia got 10, Belgium got 10, Cyprus has got 10. I'm, not, I'm actually going to put a little plus at the side of it. 
I, and that, let me uh, let me just get this because you know what this is, don't you? Yeah, the highlight of the show. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 I know, I know. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'll give myself one of these if you want. If I can find it. Here we Maybe go. we could live without the wisecracks. Yes, I think we're probably good when they're that bad. But look, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Wouldn't be surprised to see it actually win it. Uh, they've never come first. They've come second once, and that's the best performance. Uh, they've never been in the top um, three other than that. Um, this is a definite contender. It's a 10 from me. And come on, Cyprus. I love it. Love it. I'll be back a little bit later on. We'll be looking at Iceland. Uh, obviously, then we'll be looking at Asda, Morrison's, and Sainsbury's as well today. <laughs> I know. Well, I've started. I can't stop once I start. <laughs> well done to Andrew. Absolutely love it. Probably my favourite of the contest so far. I'll see you later. Hi, this is The Foz. Thank you for watching my video. Do you agree with my score? Disagree with my score? It's all about opinions. There's no bad music. Just music we like or we don't like. Oh, you've seen my vote? What's your vote? Add it in the comments below out of 10. And add your thoughts as well. And do you want more Eurovision content? Of course you do. Then please subscribe to the channel. And remember to click that notification bell. Then you'll never miss another video. Oh yeah, if you don't mind, please smash that like button as well. It really does help the channel grow. Well, like I say, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. This has been LTID TV. I've been The Foz. This is Michael. I really like these videos. And I think you will too. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell.